Sanjay, welcome to Octane. It's great to wow, have you. It's a pleasure to see you. Sorry it has to be remote. We are in shelter in place. I hope you and your family and all of our friends at Octane are doing well, but the show continues. Hey, when you talk to customers, what, what are you talking with them about in terms of enabling this uh, remote work? Well, also, you know, everyone I talk to, it's, they're concerned about security as well. So how, when you talk to them, how do you, what do you talk to them about balancing those two things? So a lot of our customers are the, <clears throat> many of them are hospitals, schools, universities, uh, retailers. These are folks who are on the front line uh, and the brunt, many of them, in helping with the crisis. So as we listen to them, uh, we got to make sure things like our uh, digital workspace technology, virtual desktops, just continue to work really well. And then they need to potentially add capacity, add more endpoints. And then what we've sought to do with any of these endpoints that come in with, you know, need for endpoint management and virtual desktops is augment it with endpoint security that we have with Carbon Black and networking technologies like load balancers and SD-WAN. Yeah, yeah. It's interesting to hear, to hear that perspective. When you think about the VMware strategy, you mentioned a little bit about the five uh, strategic pillars. I imagine that you know it's uh, it's pretty impressive how you guys have expanded from uh, you know virtualization, of course, and, and server platform to management and then networking. How's it going on the endpoint? I know that's been a big um, focus for you over the last several years. Uh, we began a transformation of that business to really kind of move a lot more to the two vectors. This is way back in 2013 that I saw as important, which was mobile and cloud. And we took a lot of our stack virtual desktops to a cloud-based, what would be called as desktop as a service. We acquired AirWatch and really became the leader in not just mobile device management, but what's now called unified endpoint management. And we saw a vision where people were going to be, you know, looking to access their apps uh, from work and we needed to not just do some of that ourselves but then build partnerships like the one with you because identity was going to become a very important part of that i was very keen to build this partnership with you because our customers were asking us for the best capabilities at that time airwatch now workspace one integrated to octa big large customers and you have been very focused on customers too so we're delighted to just see this go to the next level you know it's really interesting you know the different parts of your business how do you you know we talk a lot about at this conference about building a platform and how it's important to integrate with different things how do you think about your first of all the synergy between the endpoint business and the virtualization business and the other parts of the business and then how do you think about which areas you build out versus which areas you partner in it starts with the core infrastructure of vm which has nothing to do with the endpoint but you have to start with our roots which is uh, being a infrastructure for a multi-cloud world. So we are the household name in the private cloud data centers. We've now built very good partnerships with Amazon and Azure and GCP. And those are very important because those were potential threats to us. And we've turned those headwinds into tailwinds. So that's number one, multi-cloud. We built on top of that an app modernization layer with containers, acquired a few companies like Heptio and Pivotal and become now a leader in that category. Uh, to facilitate multi-cloud, we built a, cl a cloud networking business that I think long-term, there'll be only two companies that matter networking us in Cisco. And then that covers the entire part of the infrastructure. Once you're done with those three, the two areas that now start to cover the endpoint and the end user are this digital workspace and uh, endpoint security. And you have to kind of take a little bit of a breather because once you've kind of covered the infrastructure, you have to move to the employee and have a vision of what you're trying to do to transform the workplace. And we called it a workplace transformation uh, mission and then asked ourselves, there's an element of it that's, that's digital workspaces like what we're doing with Workspace One. And there's an element of it that's security that ties together what we're now doing with Carbon Black and then partners like yourselves. Yeah, it's, it's very well said. And you talk about covering all those scenarios and those use cases. Uh, we're really excited about what we're doing together, which is really tightly integrating the authentication and the authorization with um, from Okta with the deep, deep uh, in, uh, signals and intelligence and management on the device with Workspace One and Carbon Black. So how does that fit into the endpoint strategy for you? Yeah, we identified a couple of areas in security that were very interesting to VMware, some on our own and some through partnerships. They were network security, endpoint security, identity, cloud, and analytics. Uh, and I laid that out at my RSA keynote. And a few of those like network and endpoint, we're gonna do ourselves. And yeah, we will compete with some players there, but in identity, we're gonna partner uh, with players like you, which are become a very preferred. And, and, and then we go deep by taking our technologies. Um, in some cases, it's partnerships like NSX with Zscaler. In your case, it's Workspace ONE and going deep with Okta. And then when Carbon Black came in, there's a lot of that rich telemetry 
and uh, event breach data they collect. They're, they're, they're architected for the cloud, a very thin sensor and a big data lake in the cloud that fits also nicely with you. I made that a priority. I said, listen, Okta is a partner of ours. We're going to extend what we did with Workspace ONE also to Carbon Black. That team got it. We've completed that. That's part of the announcement we're making now with you folks. Uh, and any place else that you're innovating, I tell our teams, let's listen to Todd's product management roadmap. Let's share with them ours. And if there's a little bit of overlap, that's just, that's not the big picture. The bigger picture is we want to win together with customers. Yeah, and I think that last thing you said about customers um, is really important. Customers want their platforms to be tightly integrated. They want to take the best of the security, the intelligence, the signals, the context, and use it across, you know, not only their endpoint management, but all the, also their identity provider. So I think the, um, the combination together is going to be really great for customers, and then uh, the rest will work out well for us as well. I agree fully. When we stay customer focused, I know you've been that way. I can text you or email you. Uh, I happen to have CIOs who's telling me go work more with you guys. You you operate the same way. Uh, maybe I can ask you a question, Todd. For sure. You're very me one question. How? Because I always want to learn. How have you kept your company focused on speed? I'd say there's a a, a few things. One of them is a. Uh, I try to really cut out process where process is not necessary. The second thing is I, I you just try to set an example of, of speed. And, you know, if you, if you uh, ask something or you want something to happen, you know, don't set an example by saying it's going to be three months before we're going to meet and have and talk about it again. And then the third thing I would say is there's, you can think about from the product architecture and the technical architecture, you kind of have to invest to make sure that you don't have a bunch of technical debt that slows you down. You know, try to modularize, try to componentize, try to break things into services, um, set an example of, of speed and, and then um, and decisiveness, and then also remove process where, wherever you can. Again, it's, it's hard to, easy to say, harder to do. <laughs> We're all learning. And listen, I think if you could combine sort of a cheetah and an elephant, which is speed and scale together. We'd all be great companies, but us larger companies, we, we get a thing or two about scale, but we always can learn from the folks who've been able to, and I think for me, what's been amazing about your story is- Yeah, thank you. It's nice of you to say. Been able to do this sort of David versus Goliath. You've, you're fighting some big Goliaths and you've been made yourself very successful. It's a great story. You and a few other companies are up in my book of, of uh, companies we admire. Love All right, it. Sanjay, it's Always. been really great having you on, and uh, hopefully next year we'll be able to do it face-to-face. -face. I count on that, and I look forward to our continued friendship. Thank you, Todd. Thanks for the partnership, Sanjay. Appreciate it, man.